Alright, what's up YouTube? We're doing a video about uh, PSA. Now, let me just pose some clarification on this, right? Because I'm not kind of happy with PSA's response. Uh, I'm going to see what they probably say tomorrow. So I'm probably going to upload this video and then see what they say anyway. Um, you know, that's just how this works. So basically, I'm getting the cards now because I haven't prepared the video. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, okay, eight PSA items. Right, so eight PSA items. I'm going to show you the items, right, because this is how we're going to... We're going to do it, and then we're going to show you the email that PSA sent. So this was the problem that we had encountered with PSA again, because there's always... Right, so the first card, we this is a shadowless, and they didn't label it shadowless right now in the same submission there was other shadowless cards so in this same submission not too far apart 50 cards apart due to the 90 cards this one they labeled shadowless right and this one they didn't right so that's example number one right and then this is an unlimited so if you put this into the set registry this is going to tell you that this is a one of these cards. Now, if you put this into the set registry, it's also going to tell you that this is a normal card, not a shadowless. Right. So in that same video, or in that same submission, they labelled this card an OC. Now, if you look at the card, this is thin. This is thick. Yeah, and here is where it goes thinner. So this is the most thinnest part of the card. So this one was created in an OC grade. So this is the same thing with this one. Do you remember the seal and the sanctuary that I sent back? Where I argued the OC grades and they returned them with 9 OC. So here you have again, you have the thin at the bottom, a thick at the top. That's obviously 7030 grade 7. So they didn't label this one an OC. So this should technically be under the 9 OC grade. Right. Then if you go to this copy of this you know, Molol, which is the same. This one is 80, probably 80, 10. Or 8, well, this one is probably 90, 10 on centering. And then they graded this one a 6. Now, my argument is with them, if I was going to sell this as a 6, I kind of can't really get much money for it because it's kind of a miscut and it needs to be labeled as a miscut. That's the whole reason why we grade with these. Now, it's the same argument that I had with cgc so we went and cracked a load of cgc cards so we got a gyarados but they labeled 7.5 a base set with the label 7.5 and 9 right a galedion which is probably a 10 and they labeled at 8.5 we got a magic the gathering for uh, a forest so these are the cards that i broke out the cases uh from cgc the other day Right, so this was yesterday. This was Saturday shenanigans in a, in my garage. Yeah, so we, we broke those out because this is the same thing. Where if I sent this card to CGC, they'd probably label it as an error or a miscall. Now, same thing again. Uh, an 8 and an 8 on this one. And top top centering and bottom centering. So bottom centering's off. You can notice... As soon as you pick up this card, you know the centering's off. As soon as you pick up this card, you know the centering's off. Right. So if I sent these into PSA to be graded, these two cards I would ultimately want as a 10, right? So if I was going to send these two cards in, I have multiple copies that would be a 10, right? I think I have already the water energy in a 10, and I'm probably sure that I've got them a chop in a 10 as well. Now, obviously, we don't want a 10. We want a 9 OC. That's the whole reason we sent these in. Now, if they don't label them a 9 OC for a personal collection, and they label them an 8, it becomes very difficult for me to sell them because people think that 8s are not worth anything when 8s are actually a really good grade because out of a pack, you know, something really shouldn't technically... It should be technically gem mint, a 10... But that's not how Pokemon's grading is because Pokemon kind of don't care with the print quality. If it was Japan, it's a different story, yeah? So, we're going to get into PSA's response because this is kind of a juicy one, right? So, 
This is PSE's response. Right now, best right. So Erica, custom relations representative. Right, says privileged and confidential communication. Right, so I kind of shouldn't be sharing this if they believe so, but this is my problems and disputes with them. Thank you for reaching out with your request. I see that you are requesting to have your labels corrected to list the qualifiers that you should have. They have been made changes to our quality policy recently. Right, it doesn't matter if your policy was changed after these cards were sent. These cards were sent in 2020, and here you send me them back in 2023. So if you changed your policy recently, my submission should be unaffected by the policy change, because the policy change was recently changed. That's for the new submission and not for the old. That's my argument. I also sent a message to PSA head of staff again, because I believe that this should be highlighted. Right. Due to the number of orders we are processing daily per PSA policy, the list of qualifiers on the label is strict upon the discretion of the graders. Customers are no longer allowed to request that qualifier be added to their labels, nor are they allowed to request the qualifiers to be removed from the labels. While I applaud your passion and attention to detail, your request isn't one we can honour at this time. I appreciate your comprehending and feel free to let me know if you can assist with anything else. Okay, so they just fully well denied the the fix of the cards that are non-shadowless, right? But they didn't mention anything about the Gyarados, which is shadowless, and they didn't respond to this. So, it makes me wonder, right, if you guys are going to waste my time and then give me some bullshit response, this video needs to blow up. Like, this video needs to blow up. It needs to get views. This is the problem with my YouTube channel. It doesn't have the voice. It doesn't have the outreach. It doesn't have the many people that it should be reaching, right? So if PSA said that, okay, we refuse to grade the others, now what about this one? They didn't mention that in the email. So I mentioned this to them again, right? I sent them a following up email saying, well, why haven't you requested the fix of this card, which I'll probably request a fix of this again. Now when, when Jackie messages me and says, okay, um, you know, we will do this. I am going to request the grading of five free cards to be graded. Because I believe that because I have had this problem again and again and again and again with PSA, every single time I've pretty much made an order and there's a few shadowless, a few non-shadowless, a few, you know, a few non-limited, a few base two, there's always this problem that I occur. So when she replies, if she replies to me, and she requests to have this card back. I'm going to say, right, due to my time waste and your inefficiency to complete submissions in a, in a reasonable amount of time, I want five free cards grading for free. Because, you know, you have messed up my cards. You have made me basically have five unsellable cards for things that I wouldn't have graded otherwise that I was going to get qualifiers. So, you know, recently I got a card the other day, which was a... A card from Vivid Voltage, I think it was. Um, which pretty much got the same thing. Yeah, let's see if it's here real quick. If it's in this pile. Right, I could be wrong. Might not be here. If it is, I'll show you. Okay, there it is. So, there they are. Right. And there's another one, which is close, pretty close. Right, so these are common cards, right? Obviously, people think, oh, well, these are just a common card. Why would anybody want to grade those? So here's an example. So I got these from a pack of Vivid Voltage. They all come out the same pack. And you can see the centering on these cards is wicked off. And the bottom's thick. So for them to turn around and say, oh, we can't. We can't request the qualifiers. Now, it, the qualifiers are solely down to the discretion of the graders. 
Now, one grader might have been at the company 20 years, like somebody like me, for example, who is experienced and knows what they're looking at as soon as I see a card. I'm like, oh, this one's off center. Like, attention to detail. But you might not have that card graded because that guy who's just come in maybe three months of working in the in the job goes, oh, yeah, I don't care. Eight. Eight. And now, and now you can't say anything about that. I think that needs, I think that needs looking at. That should be changed. In my opinion, that should be changed straight away. But uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, what do you think about requesting five free cards to be graded because of the, of the mess up? Yeah, you think that's fair? I do. Peace.